Hi friends, welcome to my channel PKR Vibes Career and Growth. Today we will discuss about the scenario claim set to pay scenario. So this is not a denial scenario. This is a scenario where we will get the payment in a soul. So here we have to follow up this scenario in case if he doesn't have any EOB, any claim status information from our end, then we use it to call to the insurance for claim status. So generally what happened claim was submitted to the insurance and uh, 30 days completed no response is received from the insurance in that case we use it to follow up this scenario. So pre-call analysis I given for this scenario uh, first you have to check your software is there any claim status information found if no claim status information found and also no EOB received from the insurance then we use it to call to the insurance. Second pre-call analysis, check your clearing house and your doctor internal clearing houses. Is there any claim status information do you found? If you doesn't found, check does you received any EOB from the insurance. So in these two cases, if you doesn't have any information or any EOB in your software, in your clearing house, then you have to call to the insurance for claim status information. So note this point pre-call analysis is very important uh, because if you have if you found in your UOB so that you can analyze your claim whether it is a paid or denied. If you doesn't have any UOB if you have if you doesn't have any information in your clearing house then definitely you use to call to the insurance you have to get the status of that your particular claim. Here AR color task is uh, so pre-call analysis is done and as a hair caller you should auto call to insurance and you should have to get the claim status information the first basic and standard question for this scenario is may i know the claim status please because you doesn't have any information with you you have to call to the insurance you have to ask the status of that particular claim in that case a rep will give the answer okay this claim is up to the payment or set to pay or the claim will be paid in a soon they will say in that case you should have to ask what is the receive date of this claim what is the process date generally you submitted uh, 30 days before they process this claim after 45 days there might be a chance to ask what is the reason why you received this claim as a delay they will say that they received the claims in bulk so that's what there is a, uh, a little delay in receiving these claims in that way you will get answers from your representative over the call and also you will take what what is the approved to pay amount if you say now if the claim will be paid in a soon so may I know what is approved to pay amount please in that way you should have to ask a question and also may I know the payment approval date on which date the payment will be get approval and also the basic question of next question is what is an allowed amount and also what is patient responsibility like PR1, PR2, PR3, PR1 is a deductible, PR2 is a co-insurance, PR3 is a co-pay. So uh, sometimes what happened they will provide details, sometimes what happened we doesn't have any details here, just we have a approved to pay date only, no fine, uh, that is fine because uh, even from their end also they doesn't have any claim details completely in this case of scenario. So. Uh, whatever rep will give the information please take that information and uh, you know i given one point rep will not give the complete payment detail because check is not issued yet you know check is not generated from their end also so that they will not give the complete payment details for this scenario so for this scenario rep will suggest to you uh, please allow 14 business days or one week depending upon the payer and to get the complete payment details in that case you should have to take your claim number call reference number and put the same information whatever the representative given to you in your ar comments and post those notes into your respective softwares so that is the claim set to pay scenario we have to note one point here in this scenario partial payments will be i mean partial information regarding your payment will be given by the insurance representative not complete payments will be given to the given to you that is that note point and uh, action just we have to allow 14 days or 15 days depending upon their payer and uh, 
after that you will follow up on this claim or otherwise you will get the eob as a paid eob so that your claims your payments will be posted into your system depending upon that eob so guys uh, if you are watching my video first time could you please subscribe my video and uh, so that you will get more updated videos as a notifications to your mobile and uh, really thank you so much for your valuable time to spend here thank you again have a nice day bye